ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CanCast episode number 610. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who's even more anti-Russia than the Call of Duty series, Wombat. Yeah. You probably don't even know Even about though, that. according to, what is it, Ancestry.com, I'm 99.7% Russian. But yeah. That's funny. You never look like you're in a hurry when I see you. Oh. <laughs> Bread's done. Chip, do you have anything better than that? Well, I, I, I would assume Russia owns all your DNA as well. There you go. <laughs> right. You, you did one of those DNA tests, right? Yes. Yep. Straight mm-hmm. to Russia. I hope nobody in your Straight fa- to Russia, but I am Russian, so maybe right, that's like, what they that's what they want you to think. They they're like, oh skip this guy. He's one of us. <laughs> we don't need anything. We know everything about this guy. We've already got all this DNA. <laughs> this guy he likes he likes potatoes, he's hairy, and he likes booze. Next. I'll fit right in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He'll assimilate perfectly. One of us. Wow, what an intro. Good, good mm-hmm. night. Well, welcome to the show, everybody. Actually, there's a lot of controversial things to talk about this week. Big releases this week because the holiday season is holiday. It's, it's holidaying. I got my uh, Hanukkah countdown ca- calendar ready to go. Is it an early Hanukkah or a late Hanukkah this year? It is a late Hanukkah this year. Boo. You count down to the first day or the eighth day? First. We're counting down to the first day. That's a dumb so question. Can... That's so anti-Semitic. So, yeah. <laughs> Anti-Semitic yeah, yeah. Uh, statement. We're going to okay. start it. We'll start the calendar. I think it starts on uh, Thanksgiving is the mm-hmm. actual day that we would start the calendar. Well, don't spoil anything for us because my calendar, I had the same calendar as you. Yes. The Marvel Funko one for those who are and curious. And my countdown doesn't start for a few days after that. Yeah, it's like three days after. But yes, I am aware of that. But about? no, I won't spoil. Oh, huh? you that clearance GameStop calendar. It, first of all, it wasn't clearance. It was the deal of the day. Right. I know about the deal of the day. I, I probably posted yes. it. It was twenty dollars as opposed to the thirty-five that it usually is, or whatever it is. Yeah, I've I seen looked, it. I saw. I've that. seen it go for more than that, even. And I wanted it already anyway. I had, I had previously talked about it, which, so someone had actually sent me the link and said that thing you were talking about is real cheap. So I bought it. Is that like? A, is, did I do something wrong here? No. So stop. Stop now. What? Now who's anti-Semitic? <laughs> You're appropriating. Isn't that for uh, for? It's yes. It's an advent calendar yeah. to count down to Christmas. But there's no law that says I can't use it as a Hanukkah countdown account. Have you looked? Not yet. Have you looked? Not yet. Well, I don't know. They're trying, <laughs> but uh, it hasn't passed yet. Nice. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, they probably didn't know that that people were buying those. Now they know. Yeah. Not for their intended purposes. So now the law will happen. Now the law exactly. It's it's how it starts. It's like uh, no one knew there needed to be a law against baking cakes until people started not baking cakes. What's inside? Mm-hmm. Just tiny Funko Pops. Yeah. yeah, like teeny tiny ones. Not teeny tiny ones. Like they're mids, the the know. heroes or whatever, right? Yeah, the pine size. Um, I think they're not, pine size heroes. Pine, they're okay. a little bigger than those. Actually, I'm not familiar with Ooh. all the various Funko uh, brands. Hmm. I know, like the the main ones that you just can't avoid because mm-hmm. they're everywhere. They're Every heroes. store sells them. They're superheroes. My kids and I will enjoy it. It'll be something fun that we can do together as a family. Why? Why do you have to be so? Uh, <laughs> you know, anti. I'm not anti. Together. I'm just getting. Why more do you hate families? I'm getting more information. That's all. Family I'm doing. hater. That's all I'm doing. You're just jealous because you didn't get one yourself. I looked at it. I chose not to get one myself because... And now you realize you made a mistake. No. Because two out of three hosts have it. I have two. You have two. Shipwreck lives in a mansion. <laughs> he can. He can. He has space for all this stuff. I know. I don't. Right. So I don't the- either. So I say, I looked at it and I'm like, eh, what am I going to do with this thing? I'm going to use all these little figures that, and then I'm just going to want to throw them out because they're mm. taking up space. Clutter. Twenty dollars. Clutter. $20. Clutter. $20. Clutter. Mm-hmm. You're just gonna throw that twenty dollars out anyways, right? <laughs> no, it doesn't take up that much oh, space not? either. Oh. It's in my back pocket. Anyway, I don't judge you on, but enjoy the um 
the uh, Gentiles calendar. And uh, exactly, you know, they'll be lucky if they let you into the temple during the high holidays. Right. It's the first. It's the first step. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what bullshit did you want to talk about? <laughs> I want to hear about how your exercise bike is going. It's good. I'm actually looking at it right now. I've been riding it every morning. Looking at it right now. It's in the room where I record. That's how it works, right? Well, I'm not going to ride it while we record. No, I want to hear how it's going with details. (laughs) How's it going? How many times have you been on it? Duration and so on. Every day, every day since the last show. Okay. Actually, I think it was. I started. The morning of the last show was the first morning. Okay. So it's been a full week. Okay. I've been riding the bike 10 minutes every morning. Okay. Just, you know, it's something. Every and morning? Really? For real? I, uh-huh. That's great. Yeah. 10 minutes every morning. So that's great. Uh, I mix it up a little bit. Sometimes it's before my cup of coffee and sometimes it's after my cup of coffee. Right. Uh, depending upon the time. I either watch The Facts of Life or I watch G.I. Joe. <laughs> And that's what's going on. What is going on with your TV? And also, you you don't, you don't even have time. It's it's uh it's usually I'm usually on the bike at a quarter to six a.m. So at five forty five, you watch what's on at five forty five. Oh, you're actually watching a TV. You're actually watching just whatever's on TV. Yeah, it's one of those huh. two things. I like those shows, and they're on. I, I don't see why this is shipwreck. Shipwreck. You. you can't. Can't make fun of him. He's been on the I'm bike I'm not making fun day. of him. I just did not, with the amount of TV he watches, I didn't think that there was time he's not in the awake. schedule to like, to not have us like something queued up. No, nah, he's Well, not. that's because I'm not sitting there. I'm not going to start a show that's a full length show that I'm only going to watch 10 minutes of. Well, couldn't you just pick it up on the, on the train? But- no, it depends. On, no, I'm not. Uh, if I'm watching a show like at night, that's going to be at night. Sometimes in bed and late, when I'm too exhausted to do anything, or on the train. Wombat, well, he's but, trying to trip you up. I know. I'm <laughs> on the bike at no, I'm ten about minutes that part. before six a.m. Right. I don't have that much time in the morning, so I'm basically squeezing it in to what was my already tight morning routine right because i have to be out of the house before seven yes what he's watching is immaterial exactly it's just it's just something to be on right to stare at to stare at yeah, exactly that's fine and sometimes it's joe pulling the check in uh on vacation in los angeles <laughs> i can't believe they still show that <laughs> oh it's what so channel? bad what channel is that that's on me tv <laughs> i don't even know what that is okay good I enjoy me TV. You get it. You just don't have it plugged in. I, I, I and uh, and Discovery Family shows uh, GI Joe at six a.m. So it really yeah. depends on where I'm teetering around that six. I think everybody mark. knew that one. Yeah. <laughs> so it depends. If the news was better, I'd put on the news. But all I really need is the weather. That'll get you f- your blood boiling though when you start watching the news. I watch like the hyper local news. To that's keep lame. Me, f- yeah. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, I agree. Yeah, that's no fun. I'm well, saying you, you want the blood insane. boiling while you're exercising. Yeah, but I've been riding the bike. That's great. I've been doing fine. That's great. I break a little bit of a sweat, then I get in the shower. Yeah. And uh, this Saturday, I probably won't ride the bike because I'll be camping and hiking. Nice. So I'll get the hike in instead. We got to get it up to a full episode, though, length, so you can enjoy a full episode of, of streaming content on the exercise bike. Yeah, 22 it's minutes. Like, it's only oh, 22 minutes. That's true. It's not a lot. Nope. But that, uh, yeah, good job. Thank you. Yes. Shipwreck was trying to trick you with, uh, you know, trying to. Th- Shipwreck wants me to feel constantly bad about myself, so I'm dead in a year. He's, I get it. He's trying to correct behavior of yours that didn't need correcting at that particular moment, <laughs> I think. <laughs> he was focusing on like a little small detail, not like the big picture. That's sort of his deal. <laughs> well, that's why he's a talented <laughs> engineer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down in the details. Yeah, that's important. Hmm? Um, speaking of exercising, uh, it's day seven out of day eight of Hell Week at Orange Theory. And if you go to, f- I think I mentioned this already, if you go to five of them, you get the free t-shirt. Tomorrow's my fifth day. So I'm very excited to get my free t-shirt. If I can make it, because my ass is so sore. I'm not I don't know how I'm going to stand up after we're done recording this because sitting for 
any stretch of time makes getting up very difficult because I've been pumping my ass hard <laughs> for the last four days. I didn't sound quite right, but there's been a lot of squats and such. It's it sounded right. It did sound right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got that right. Yep. Yeah, I got a high five from the coach on the way out because she told me that, that, she told yep. me I killed it. <laughs> I pumped my ass. She pumped my ass. Um, this was very weird. It's unrelated to Hell Week at Orange Theory. Uh, I bought one of the the new Amazon Amazon Ring cameras. Oh, okay. I saw this on the outline. I thought you bought the. It was in the exercise section here. I thought you bought the that We Fit thing, the Ring. Oh God, no. Switch. Okay. God, I saw a big stack of them though at Target. Didn't look like they were moving too quickly, but um, you know they came out. Ring came out with a new their new next version of their cameras, the latest version. And I bought. There's like an outdoor one with a battery, and there's these small ones that go inside. Mm-hmm. And they're, you know, the cameras are are fine as cameras, but I was expecting, I guess, I was expecting incorrectly that they would integrate into the Ring Alarm ecosystem. And in that sense, I mean, it would know, like, when I'm home, don't send me alerts about things and don't record things when I'm at home because everything's fine. I don't need my living room recorded oh, at all times. Okay. Yeah. I had the Canary cameras, which would do that when you were, it was, they knew when you were home via your cell phone and when you were home, it wouldn't record stuff. But this, the ring, the new ring cameras don't have that feature at all. And so I went, I wrote a review and there was plenty of reviews saying the same thing I noticed um, because I've got the camera, I pre-ordered, I got it before it came out. And so a lot of people like me were up, were a little disappointed to find out that this was the case, and they wrote reviews on Amazon like me, and I left I left three stars. One or two days later, I got an email from Amazon telling me that they want to schedule a phone call with me to discuss my review. And was, you know, it's very creepy, right? I'm like, I don't want to talk. To, I just wanted to. I just want you to fix it. That's why I put the review up. So you would see it with all the other ones and just fix it, right? I'm not looking to be involved in the whole process. Did they call? <laughs> no, no. So I, so then I, I ignored it because I'm like I said, I don't want to be involved at all. I don't even want to reply to the email. So today, the day later, I get another email, more specific, from like the Ring team saying, David, we see that you're home right now. <laughs> Can we call you? In fact, we're going to start communicating with you in five, four, three. <laughs> four, three, two. Hello, David. We heard you about your review. <laughs> no, so they said, like, they said, um, yeah, we're working on that specific feature and we can even give it to you early. You know, let's get on the phone. And, and I'm like, no, I just, just you forgive it, fix it in your own time. What, what does my review matter? It doesn't. It's like a million people. Because re- they want you to revise your review. I know, but it's just like, who gives a shit? Just that fucking and I fix love it. Getting on the, see, I love getting on the phone with these people. It's kind of what Do I Do you? Uh huh. Yeah, just send them to Wombat. Send them my way. <laughs> Pretend to be me. Send them my way. You'll, you're going to open up your door. You're going to have six new rings. <laughs> Or Just a, in a box with bows on them. Or a hit squad. And a thank you card. No, I'm better than that. <laughs> I have I'm not saying I'm skilled at everything. Right. But that's a skill I have. Right. No, but I don't I'm not looking for any anything. I just want them to fix it. I don't need anything. It's not free. about looking for something. It's yeah. about getting what you deserve. <laughs> what, do I, <laughs> what do I deserve? <laughs> I don't know yet. I just I want them to decided. fix the camera. I just, I, I just wanted to not record when I'm in the living room and stuff, like, and send me and send me motion alerts when somebody walks into the living room. That's all. When I'm home, mm-hmm. it knows I'm home. It should know. It's weird, but I, I, I can't even say I want to commend them on their customer service because that's too much service. That's too much. <laughs> Let me just do my thing and run away, okay? <laughs> your whole like business, ring doorbell business, is capturing people who want to ring your, you know, leave something and run away. And uh, I don't know. That's what I want to do. So let me do it. 
Ty's friends try to sneak up on our house and to ring the doorbell without being seen on the doorbell. So great job, Ring. So that's really the intended purpose. They try to like sneak around or and they'll like wrap their coats around their face and stuff. Mm-hmm. Very clever. 